When merge gets munted. Now, what does munted mean for those that aren't maybe from, from Australia? Munted, I looked, it's actually in the dictionary. I was very surprised. Munted means in a state of disastrous disintegration, broken or ruined. So what happens when merge goes wrong? These are the errors that I'm going to talk about tonight. This, this is the, probably the first one that people see is Aura 30926, unable to get a stable set of rows in the source tables. The cause of this is there's two causes. I'm going to focus on the second one for the time being, which is a non-deterministic wear clause. I couldn't have a deterministic wear clause and the action is remove the non-deterministic wear clause. This is one of those great errors where it says, you have a problem with X, so try not to do X. It doesn't really give you an idea as to what is going on. Let's look at a demo and hopefully this will make it fairly clear. Hopefully the font is large enough for everyone. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a table called Oracle team. It's the members of an Oracle team I'm creating. I've got a primary key, I've got a first name and a last name. Let's put a couple of rows in there. It's Connor McDonald, they spelt McDonald wrong. And I put Chris Saxon in there, they've spelt Chris wrong and it's not capitalized. It's bad data, it's someone's first cut of the data. But if I query it, I can see select star from Oracle team and there's the two rows with the primary keys one and three. I'm gonna build an application that allows people to apply fixes to this data. Now, rather than doing it directly because I maybe want to audit it or, or capture some security information, I create a table called fixes to which people can put in requests to actually fix the data. So I put in a request to fixes. I want to fix primary key number one, which is Connor, make it Connor McDonald. And I want to fix primary key number three. I want to make it Chris Saxon. So you can see the data there in my fixes table. How would I actually move, migrate that data from the fixes table into my Oracle team? Pretty simple, I would write a merge command. I could write an update, but we're dealing with merge tonight, so let's focus on that. So I'm merging into my Oracle team, select all the rows from my fixes table. I'm joining on the primary keys. So the primary key from the fixes table, which is a reference back to the Oracle team, joining on the primary key, and then doing a when matched. And that works and the data is fixed. So far, so good. Let's recreate our Oracle team table with the same bad data. One row for me, one row for Chris. Both the data is a little bit mangled or munted, I should say, and we actually want to now fix it. Now, because I have a fixes table, what happened here is I first had a crack at fixing Connor McDonald yesterday. You can see sysdate minus one. I put an entry in the fixes table saying, yep, please fix Connor to get rid of the MAC, make it MC for McDonald, like the restaurant chain. And then I realized, oh, I'd like to capitalize the D as well. So I put another fix in today saying, yep, yeah, please fix it up to McDonald and Chris is fixed as before. So now I've got three rows in my fixes table. I want to fix McDonald, ah, oh, made a mistake, fix it again, and then fix up Chris. Here's my merge command, the exact same merge command we ran as before. And there's our error, unable to get a stable set of rows of data. Now, hopefully just by running through the demonstration, you can get a rough idea as to what the cause is here. I had two rows in my fixes table, both pointing to the same row in my Oracle team. So depending on which order I took those rows in, if I took row number one, which had Connor McDonald in lowercase, or row number two, Connor McDonald in uppercase, depending on which I took first, I'd get a different result in my merge command. That's a non-deterministic set of rows to apply to that table. We don't want to do that because obviously, depending on where those rows sit on disk or where they're encountered in the buffer case, et cetera, I would get non-deterministic results. We don't really want to allow that. That's fairly straightforward. Not, or 30926 means you've got perhaps some sort of duplication or some sort of incorrectness in the data coming in that you're trying to probe into your target table to be merged against. So how do I fix it? Well, in this case, we saw that we have a date stamp in which I was actually applying those fixes. So what I might choose to do is actually just pick the last particular date of a fix, the last final fix for each particular team member. So I'm using an analytic key. You can see I'm using row number partitioned by team primary key, one row for each primary key, order by applied descending. So pick out the very last applied row for each primary key in my fixes table. That then gives me effectively a distinct set of rows for each primary key, but I'm also picking up the most recent one, which is probably the last fix I want to apply. I run my merge and this time you can see it works. Generally, it's looking at getting a distinct set of primary keys in your source table that's going to solve this particular problem. So hopefully that explains what we mean by a non-deterministic wear clause. What we're effectively saying is because of the input rows, 
we can't guarantee the output from the merge command would be the same depending on how we process those input rows. That's obviously non-deterministic. Let's look at another example now. And this is another error message, which is ORA 8006, specified row no longer exists. And once again, that's a bit of an odd sort of error to get, especially when it comes to a merge, like how can a row no longer exist? And it says the row has been deleted by another user since the operation began. That would make sense if it was some sort of system like a, a um, application express or Oracle form, some sort of client service system where, you know, you have a view of the data on screen and then someone goes and deletes a row behind you. But what if I'm the only person using this operation? Surely as I'm doing the merge, I'm locking the rows in question. So how could this actually occur with a single command? And once again, our action is a little bit sort of unhelpful in the sense that it says, yeah, just retry it and see what happens. So let's look at that example as well and what could be the cause. So I'm gonna create a table called employees and my table is partitioned and I'm gonna partition my employees by department number. So all the employees in department 10 go into one partition, department 20 into another partition and department 30. And we'll simply put a single employee, very small company, this one. I'm the only employee, I'm in department number 10 and we can see the select statement there. It simply says, yep, employee number one, his name's Connor, he's in department number 10. I've got the same metaphor now here of fixes. So I've created the fixes table. It's once again, got a date column so we can put multiple fixes in. And what I've got is 10 days ago, I got moved from department 10 to department 20. Woohoo, that might mean a promotion, who knows. And then five days after that, I got demoted from department 20 to department 30, whatever these departments may be. So there's my two fixes and you can see the two rows there that I want to apply to my employee table. There's my merge command. You can see it's a similar kind of scenario here in the sense that I've got two primary keys that I'm going to actually do a merge to. You know, there's sort of a, a immediately alarm bells might be going off here thinking, yep, this might cause some dramas. Will I get 30926? I actually won't. When I run it, I get specified row no longer exists. And the key thing here was way back at the start, my partition table was defined as enable row movement. What that means is, is I'm allowing rows to migrate between partitions. I could have a, a row in partition 10, but if I update the department number, I need to move that employee to department 20. In the merge example we had here, I wanted to move from 10 to 20 and then 20 to 30. But that was all in the construct of a single merge command. So what happened was when I first started the merge, I saw the row in the target table as being Connor in department 10. I encountered my first row on my fixes table and I moved him to department 20. When I then moved on to the next row on the fixes table, I'm expecting to match that incoming row with the row as it was when the merge commenced, which was Connor in department 10. So I go look up Connor in department 10, he's gone because that row has been deleted for out of that partition and migrated into partition for department 20. It's a subtle difference to the 30926 error. In this case, I actually went hunting for a row as it was at the start of the merge operation and that row has vanished because the database has migrated it to a brand new partition. It's in a physically different spot and therefore I get row no longer exists. So that's another cause of that kind of problem. One thing I should say is if you get these kind of errors, obviously do your due diligence, check the data, check the incoming data, check the target table definition, etc. Make sure that you actually haven't got a data inconsistency or some sort of non-deterministic information that would genuinely cause a merge to correctly fail, if that makes sense. You want it to fail, you don't want to get data corruption. But there have been some bugs in various versions of Oracle where those errors come out when they shouldn't do. And the reason for that is, is obviously we are, if anything, going to err on the side of caution. We're gonna be overzealous when it comes to making sure that we don't allow a wrong set of results to come out of a merge. We don't want that. So sometimes we're gonna be a little bit too, uh, too aggressive in saying, yeah, well, things are a little bit, you know, things could be a dodgy here. Let's throw an ORA 30926, et cetera. So that MetaLink note, I think I might've actually put it up here. Let me just 471. 956.1, how to troubleshoot those errors. It goes through a list of things you might want to check. And toward the bottom, there's a list of references and bugs that you also might want to check to make sure that once you've gone through all those due diligence steps and check that all the things that you can control are under control, there might be a bug that you've encountered. The one thing I didn't talk about was in the first 30926 example was the concept of 
you might not be going to get a stable set of rows because of large DML activities. Update, merge are sort of common bedfellows. And if you're doing large batch updates, which is the typical operation to do for a merge, then if you've got a lot of DML going on behind the scenes from other sessions, you can encounter problems. And it's a problem what we call write consistency. That's a topic perhaps for another office hours, but if you search Ask Tom, go to the Ask Tom webpage and search for write consistency in the search box, you'll get a number of threads on there which talk about the complexities that Oracle has to undertake in terms of consistently reading rows in order to do an update or a merge command. That's another potential cause of merge returning an error because of a lot of DML activity going on while you're trying to run a large merge statement.